Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video on the channel. In today's video we have a very interesting case with this iPhone 12 Pro Max. So basically the customer said that it's restarting every once in a while and sometimes just freezing. Uh, now the reason why you are seeing the phone is already opened and it has another charger flex is because of the panics uh, that is created each time when the phone restarts by itself. Uh, now we are just going to wait for the phone to boot up and I'm going to show you all the panics in general uh, privacy and then analytics uh, of course which uh, which uh, every panic has a different meaning uh, this phone had or has still the PRS0 code on the panic which means uh, the parameter sensor is not getting recognized or just damaged but other panic says absolutely nothing except uh, maybe backboard and springboard code, which just shows that there is no uh, sense, uh, no missing sensors. Now I already explained what is panic and how to read panics on iPhones in my previous video. So if you missed it, just make sure to check it out on my channel. Or I'm just going to put one video of the videos that I uh, explained over here at the top. And uh, uh, for those who doesn't know, the barometer is on the charging flex, but sometimes even if the phone restarts after you put other charging flex, if it has also uh, restarting with the PRS0 panic code in panic full, that means that it could be a problem with the board. So you could see uh, that the first one had the PRS0 and the second one just had the backboard. And here you can see that the phone has the iOS 16.2 and everything looks fine uh, and to be honest I saw a lot of people having this freezing issue and restarting issue with the same panic code and the solution which uh, with each uh, phone and each model uh, was different now I'm going to show you how the phone just freeze by itself without even doing anything just gonna you know swipe in the, in the springboard and you can see the phone just freeze up and that's it you need to disconnect the battery again or just make a, a hard reset uh, but in order to make sure that you have done the right diagnostics uh, for this repair you really need to understand the panic and read it carefully uh, so of course you won't miss anything so we did try other charging flex and the phone still freezing and restarting you can also put the phone in other house to make sure that it's still the same i already did that by the way and now we will jump to the more serious hardware repair solution, which is separating the board, the boards, uh, or the board, because it could be a problem with the board connection, uh, the RF, and the logic board. And uh, by the way, if you want to boot the logic board separately without the RF board on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it will just keep saying a temperature problem or temperature error. Uh, the phone is too hot, uh, so that is also why we. And think that is uh, could be a connection problem between the boards, uh, but it j just doesn't say anything about the temperature. But it's just a guess for now. Uh, of course, uh, if you also check those panics in the analyzer program on Windows, it would say something like NAND or Wi-Fi or charging flex, which to be honest are very wrong to just change them or start with them immediately before you just you know even check anything, um, except the charging flex obviously. Uh, so stay calm if you don't know where to start. If you have the same problem, stick with me uh, till the end uh, so you can learn the uh, proper diagnostics. And uh, now we are just going to wait for the uh, preheater to heat up the board very well so we can separate the boards without any... Uh, so we can separate the board without any problem. I know, I know, a lot of you will skip this part and uh, to be honest, I made the uh, intro very long this time. Well, just a little bit long, <laughs> but I'm trying my best to just explain everything here. But uh, here I will be speeding forwarding because there is not much to say, uh, except uh, you can uh, see the gray pads uh, almost everywhere. So for starters, I would say it could be a problem because of the cracked gray pads between the both ports, but uh, we cannot be sure until we test after the cleaning. Uh, so we'll be cleaning all the pads, uh, bring the tester and connect the charging flex again and see if we get the same results or not. And uh, just one last comment. Oh dear Apple, just just please take more care about the soldering on your boards. I mean, for God's sake, I don't know what to say. Uh, you know, because for the customer this is just not okay at all for the phone just to, you know, 
not getting the modem fiber or a uh, problem with the disconnection between the ports. Of course, for the customer, he will not uh, know all of this, but uh, yeah. So, uh, wait till I gossip to Steve Jobs, I guess. <laughs> that will teach you something. Nice and shiny clean pads, and now we'll be jumped to our tester, connect everything, and as I said, we'll be testing again if the board is still restarting or freezing as I show you as I showed you uh, at the beginning of the video. So now for the testing, this will be a long detailed one, but I'm going to speed forward the whole process because it just could lead to a 30 minutes. Uh, video. So as I said before, this could be a charging flex or a NAND or a Wi-Fi problem or something else. Now uh, the last panic is on the 4th of July, uh, sorry, 4th of January, uh, but the clock here is reset to, uh, or the data and the clock is reset to um, 1970, 1970, but we still don't have any panic with this state. Uh, usually the user space dog panic has a problem with the thermal sensor circuit, uh, like uh, DPRS0 or pressure uh, stands for the barometer, uh, mic 1 is the bottom left mic on the charging flex, mic 2 the rare uh, mic which is near the flashlight, mic 3 on the upper flex, and mic 4 is the bottom right mic on the charging flex. Now this uh, does not mean that there is a problem with the flex itself, but it just could be also a problem with the lines that are connected to those flex on the board. Now we can see that the phone is still freezing, so what I'm going to do is just putting other RF board or other Wi-Fi chip, because it could be a problem with the Wi-Fi chip, just to see if we have a problem with the Wi-Fi as the analyzer said, the program that analyzes the panics. So we will test after that the, with the uh, other RF board, and if you get an option attempting to recover the data, that because you connected other RF board to the uh, logic board, just enter the right password and wait till the end, We'll be testing with the other board, maybe a couple of hours or maybe a couple of days and see if the device is uh, freezing or not. For now, it looks everything is okay, no panics, no freezing. So I hope that it really could be a problem with the RF board. We'll see, but I will keep you updated uh, until the end of the video, obviously, because that's what we are going to uh, repair in this video. You can see that we don't have a uh, modem fiber that because it's other uh, RF board. So uh, now we'll jump just and wait a couple of days and I will uh, catch you guys after that. So it's the 6th of January and the phone still didn't freeze at all, but the, the, devi uh, the device restarted a couple of times. Uh, now I'm just going to show you to just go to settings. Uh, see what is the panic this time. I saw it like restarting two times uh, So now let's just go to settings privacy analytics to see what the panic and Let's search for the last panic which is the 6th of January over here and it says after the no service dash springboard, so it's still connected to other RF board no bottom fiber, but the, uh, then the phone is not freezing so I guess uh, the next thing we'll go with is restoring the device. So here we'll begin the restore process. Now for those who will say, uh, why did you just you know start with fresh restore uh, before you you know separate the board and all of this? Uh, actually, I have two answers. Uh, the first answer is uh, I couldn't just do a restore because the customer said that the information on the phone was very important but also I couldn't make a backup because of the phone just keeps freezing and to be honest I didn't you know I didn't know what just got changed after I put other RF board uh, but uh, still we can't assure that the problem was uh, in the OS or the problem is in the RF board and the second answer is I followed the analyzer which based on other reading panics experience so uh, as I said Wi-Fi NAND, charge of flex so for now, I didn't waste any time, so we did a backup with other RF board, and now we'll be storing with the original RF board, and again, test with a fresh copy of iOS 16.2, and we'll catch you again after the restore is finished. 
fresh iOS and fresh restore with original RF board and also the same charging flex that I used before. Just let me show you that uh, the timer that has been running and almost more than two hours and the phone didn't freeze or restart. And also I'm going to show you the last panic was this morning before I did the restore analytics over here and the same uh, panic yes this morning and the same panic as before with the springboard uh, and also um, yes even if you restore the panics will still be there giving some time and they will, will automatically delete their cells so now we'll be finishing our test and diagnostics completely after we rebuild both layers and then soldering the boards back together uh, I'm just going to you know, explain a little more what I'm doing here. I'm just applying a soldering paste, 138 soldering paste, uh, 138 degrees uh, Celsius soldering paste on the RF board so we can uh, solder the boards together. And uh, I'm just going to skip the part where I'm going to heat up uh, all the pads. And you can see here our pads are ready. And now we'll be soldering both boards uh, on our preheater. Let's now jump to the our, uh, to our preheater. Uh, first, I like to do is uh, make sure that the RF board is uh, hot, and then I will apply a little flux, a fresh flux, new flux, clean flux. And after that, I'll put the logic board on top of it and just wait on a 160 to 165 degrees Celsius on our preheater. So for the final test now, everything is soldered, everything is connected on this phone. I'm going to show you that also I did an update uh, for the Face ID. Here I am. And I guess all the uh, the problem was is just a fresh iOS or a fresh restore on the device. Maybe it's a bug on the iOS 16.2 or in iOS 16 in general. And for those who was wondering if I just you know restore the backup, will it work again? Yes, it will work. It just needs to uh, get restored and get back all the uh, information back to the phone. The last panic is also in the. Uh, 6th of January but before as I said before in the morning the phone is not freezing not restarting so I guess our work here is done so thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future and as always stay safe and have a good day and don't forget springboard means of a problem with your iOS with the user space watchdog panic so we'll catch you guys in another repair video Peace out.